Over the last 10 years, ELF Africa has directly reached over 10,000 young women and men across 14 counties in Kenya, with our clarion call being to move young people from the periphery to the center of decision-making in economic and socio-political affairs. One of the areas we are keen on influencing is the political space as we seek to inject in a fresh breed of value-based leaders at all levels of the elective seats. From the president, deputy president, governors, deputy governors, senators, women representatives, members of parliament, and members of county assemblies, they come in many styles and fashions. Yet, election cycle after election cycle, the voter continues to decry the poor quality of the leadership offered by these politicians. Hence, our intervention through the good politician. We don't have a deficiency of leaders, we have a deficiency of values. And so we have a lot of politicians with what I would call bad manners. The Good Politician is an initiative by the Imagine Leaders Foundation. And uh, that initiative brings together all the youthful aspirants or candidates from different areas and counties. So you get to share your ideas, we have good facilitators. We never paid anything to be in that initiative. The Good Politician Project serves as the foundation on which ELF Africa is investing in nurturing a cadre of principal young politicians who embody value-based leadership, moral courage and imagination in the pursuit to make democracy work in Kenya. It is a one-year executive program that finds young political aspirants who are already present and serving on the field, have a strong commitment to serve all and have deep local political knowledge and insight. The goal of the Good Politician Project is to enhance capacity of youth aspirants to foster value-based leadership and increase meaningful and strategic participation of youth in county assemblies. Through the Good Politician, we hope to increase youth representation in county assemblies, enhance meaningful and strategic participation of youth in county assemblies by and after 2022, and increase the number of young women participating in electoral politics in 2022 and beyond. Of the hundreds who applied to join the program, the final 30 fellows were selected from six counties. Makweni, Wasengishu, Muranga, Narok, Homabay, and Kituri, 13 being female and 17 male. After a series of training sessions, it was time to go face to voters. 12 of the 30 fellows presented themselves to nomination through different political parties, while the other 18 deferred their ambitions. Seven good politicians were nominated by the respective political parties to run for member of county assembly seats in the August 9, 2022 general election. And here are their stories. The good politician really answered lots of questions I had about campaigning mainly because that is the main reason why I went for this program. The nitty gritties of campaign planning on um, understanding government better and also how to generally run campaigns because I was so green about it. The kind of leadership which has been in the area which I come from has been very poor and I felt through good politician it could be possible to learn one or two things here and there to change what is happening. I joined the Emerging Leaders Foundation uh, to be able to participate in active governance uh, from Motensi Ward, uh, realizing that uh, I had dreams of leadership uh, from a uh, world development level uh, to become a member of county assembly. Based on the lessons, the teachings, the kind of education that I have gotten from the Good Politician Project, I'm able to sit in the county, the apex level of county budget making forum where I can contribute to youth issues, I can shape youth discussions, and I can present the youth agenda. We were taught so many things, but of importance in my campaign was the, the topic on agenda or manifesto making, which I did. We were taught on how to make your, uh, your agenda clear and simple, that they can be understood by anyone. We were also taught about branding and how to present yourself, how to have, uh, how to present your posters, because those are part of your, your branding. And uh, when I started, because I thought that uh, as much as I did have the finances, I would just be like, just them, even when walking to them. But I learned that being presentable to your people is also another mileage. We learned about the financial management bit of it, and how you can mobilize. 
mobilizing uh, finances really uh, like nowadays because of the economy how it is it, it has become a bit hard but one thing I learned is that you don't necessarily need to have the millions for you to 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 get the position you want. I can really run a good campaign with the right tools, with the right resources, with the right mindset and also knowing yourself well such that you don't lose yourself in the campaigns, you know. They have merged or partnered with KYMCA and what they're trying to bring out is the nurturing of young leaders into the society. A great move away from the recycled uh, narrative uh, of what we believe a leader should be in Kenya and in Africa. And I think it is a good move through the practical training which endeavors to educate, inform, but more so give practical and real uh, aspects of what it is to be a leader, especially in, uh, in uh, for members of county assembly and for ward management. One of the least implemented chapters in our constitution is the chapter on leadership and integrity. And uh, there the, is need for concerted efforts to ensure that uh, programs, initiatives are done uh, towards uh, raising the bar as far as uh, getting leaders, uh, men and women who appreciate leadership and the values of integrity. When I'm doing my campaigns, I have been able to stand out to control my emotions, regardless the bad words have been used against me by my opponent, or whenever I get the audience who are my voters, whenever they do something that can make somebody's emotions rise, I can be able to control. I have been trying to seek funds on financing my campaigns, and so I am using the strategies on, where, on which I got from the boot camp. The reason why I'm standing today here is because of that fellowship. Because if, if it were not of the same, I would not be doing this. Because this, this thing requires a lot of risk taking, especially us being young people. We do not have the finances. There's a saying here which says that you have given us the food for the years, now we need the food for the stomach. The political demarcation of this country is affected by what we call handout, money distribution by the opponents who have a lot of money. So whenever you go to a meeting, you find that, you find that uh, the audience are requesting for something from your pocket. We have a lot of bright ideas. Our manifestos are very clean. But the ability to be able to project our manifesto for people to understand that we have the agenda with us, it's a problem. In this ward, another, another market here called Zambani Market, uh, young people never mix with uh, old people. So when you are campaigning, you have to set up a campaign for young people and you have to set up another campaign for people who are uh, significantly older, people above 35. One of the challenges facing young people is lack of meaningful networking to gain influence in participating in key decision-making process, such as electoral process. One of the biggest challenges I'm facing is discrimination against gender. Sometimes you'll hear people say that uh, that's a woman, she will get married maybe in, in, a, in another county and uh, therefore Makui will be left without an MCA. As a woman, I have to be home by 6 p.m. because of the, the insecurity issues, because you don't know what your opponent is planning. Besides main challenges like finances and stiff competition, some of the good politician fellows experience some unique bottlenecks. The culture is still within our people. We are so much defined by our social status. I'm a single parent. And because I'm a single parent, I was told that I cannot buy because this family is not complete. Peter and Karen have continued to find use for the lesson learned in the good politician and even transferred them in support of their preferred candidates. So I couldn't just sit and wait for next time till, so that we use this skill now. Nah. And the good politician also opened up my mind Leadership is not about really being in the seat itself. You can also contribute in other spheres. I also decided to go help out the um, one of the candidates who are vying in Masonga Leni and provide the skills as their coordinator. One such candidate is Felix Mateso, who has nothing but praise for Peter's work in Makweni County. Peter Mutuko has been one of the good examples of youth that uh, want to a man for future leadership. 
and uh, we have actually worked with him, actually supporting us uh, in this development agenda. Like, for example, this project, which uh, is Kamuni uh, Water Project, he has mobilized the youth to participate in uh, public participation. If the young people really can be engaged from across this country, we can be able to shape the politics of development. We can be able to dissociate ourselves from retrogressive politics, where you have to insult another person for you to gain mileage. We can engage in clean politics where we can develop ourselves as a country and the young people to take this chance. And they become a good politician.